Does he have the right character, you think, in the long term to be a huge success here at Manchester United? Does he have the character that we see from some of the other managers across the Premier League, across Europe? What do you think? I think Good luck with that, Renee. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks, thanks. But, uh, yeah, I think he definitely has got the character for it. I think one of the advantages I said straight away uh, within his bringing him in and, and, and appointing him was because he knows the club. And you can't underestimate, you know, that fact. A lot of managers come here. We've got some, seen some great managers here in, in Louis van Gaal and Mourinho, the latest ones. But Manchester United is, is a different animal, you know, so to speak. But he's, he's been here as a player. He's lived it. He knows what is expected. He knows what is expected from, from the players, what's all the players, the quality of the players. He knows what's expected for the fans, the way that he wants to play in an attacking, attractive style. You know, easier said than done, obviously. But that's why I'm sure he knows what he what he wants, what he wants to to achieve. He obviously needs the support and the backing from the club to make sure uh, that that's going to happen. I think he does have the character, um, and I think that he understands what Manchester United is about and what the fans want. My question would be. And let's be honest, you know, Manchester United have not been the United that we've known, the United that I've played against for, for a good few years now. So it's going to take a, a good few years to, to get back to where they should be. But my question is, if in a couple of years, does he have that tactical nous to go up against Pep, yes. Klopp, Zidane, Barcelona, Bayern Munich? I'm not 100% sure. I think he's very different from the, the manager he was at Cardiff, where, you know... I hear he was almost too nice and shied away from decisions. I don't think that's him now. I think he is willing and able to make those type of decisions. But time will tell whether he does have that tactical nails to come up but against the very best when, coaches in the world. When you've got a whole team, how many staff are employed by Manchester United on average? Coaching staff and, and tactical videos and this and that. Quite a few. Quite a few now. Quite a few, much, right? Much more, much more now than in well, the time that I was. Exactly. I was. And I'm sure Klopp, I'm sure Guardiola have, have the same amount or maybe even more. I, I don't know the specifics. Surely at this level, this elite level, it seems to come down to being able to motivate the players, to push them no, yeah. beyond the edge it's a com- as a manager. Of course, it's a combination of things. But it's, it's, it's more than that. It's, it's, it's getting prepared for every game, for every performance. The most important thing is to make sure that you've got plan A, B and C in your head and what, how it can affect in terms of how to use your players from the bench or tactically how to move a few players. Coming back to Scott, what he says in terms of how, how tactically he is, and I, I was in the fortunate sort of circumstances to, to work with him, even when he still was a player. And as we all know, he, he came off the bench a lot, and one of the things he always did, he was very good in reading the game. He was always very good in trying to spot weaknesses of defenders that he could expose coming on as a player. And I spent... You know, a lot of time talking with him when he came to the end of his career about his coaching. He had a big interest, and I thought he was always tactically very, very astute. The key is to making the right decisions. You know, when when you're under pressure, that's the key to making sure. And that's why you need to make sure you've got things planned out. You know, in advance, so you say, "All right, this is what happened, and this is how we're going to react to it."